Yes. Let's see if any weird psychedelic dreams await us tonight. Well, you say it's cute, but Sora throwing around a toy will get annoying soon. <laughs> she likes throwing that snake toy. Oh. Oh, we're on a train? We are on a train. Weird. I wonder if I'll let me jump off the train. Part of me thinks I should have checked the other side first because that seemed like an awful long way to find one of them. There's going to be something to these sections why you're always finding band members, but I don't get the symbolism yet. There's invisible blocks there. Also, for people watching After the Fact on the YouTube VOD, perhaps, I am pausing every so often to drink tea. can land on it. Smelters? It's the boss from Dark Souls 2 nobody likes? So we return here after we're done. The way these dream sequences use music is really interesting. Possum Springs, Deep Hollow County. I think a triple jump would get over there. I don't think it will. No, I wouldn't. Well, maybe. There's a shadow of someone up here. There's two. It's a bomb, right? Still one more though, right? It won't let me jump off the train. Hello, Vice President, welcome back. Is it drugs? It's drugs. I checked the bottom left already, so it's got to be top left. So I must be able to make that jump. Nope. This looks right. Is that Sorrow doing things? Oh, she's playing with a plastic bottle now. Fantastic. We don't know yet if May's on any drugs. I think it might be like hiding something like that as part of her medication. Thank you, Vorador02, for 21 months in a row with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Nightbot told me to, it scares me. Don't worry, you've done the right thing. Your family will be safe until the robots take over. Beep boop. Where did I come in? It was the middle. Aha! No spooky animal this time? Okay. So we've had like a bear, a rat, a crocodile. Oh, did we have a fox? Is she actually having dreams about our friends? Or dog, whatever. That's what it could be. So 
that was the little movie kid the time before, and then that was B. The bear was Angus, and then the dog would be Greg. Hey. Hey. Oh, message. Annual harvest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Happy Halloween, dude. Oh, hey, it's Halloween. Get spooked or something. Okay. Be extra spooky, chat. Be extra spooky. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller, a regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. Oh, your granddad was a dick. Screw it, I am sturdy. Crawl space cleared? Crawl space cleared! It only took like two in-game weeks. What the hell? It seems a little big for a crawl space. Hmm, an old safe. How am I going to open this thing? Dynamite? No. Hmm, got to be to open this. Maybe if I ask like her parents about the safe. Wait. Three, three, five, three. That'll be the combination. Let me let me test my theory. Three, three, five, three. Hey, trash bird. His bookshelf is like ghost. Oh, the combination will be here somewhere. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost, like his skeleton. Oh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like something written inside this book cover. Left for. Oh, God. Do I have to write this down? Chat, just remember this for me. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is this like. What is this? No, she wrote it down, but still, it's easier if I just ask you to tell me again. Oh wait, haha, I know I'd open this. Oh, there we go, she, I think she might just input it. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, it's a tooth. Grandad put a tooth in a safe, in the basement. Welp. You never know when you need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Mysterious tooth. Hmm, okay. Intriguing. I continue to be intrigued and enamored. And other A words too, possibly. Are you tearing that snake apart, Sora? Oh no, you're behind me. You're kind of zonked out. Okay. She used up all her energy. I've been throwing balls for her all day because I couldn't do anything else where the plumbers were in. There's a bunch of boxes here. Hey, Mom. Mm hmm. Um. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Okay. So what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be. What does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez. Where's this coming from? You know you're the first Wowski to go to college. Yeah, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. You like having one of those mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in the house. You are the one moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where it should be. 
<laughs> she, I'm not telling her to F off. That's very rude. This isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to... <laughs> Maybe you wanted me to get out of here. Because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in a line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Oh, that got awkward. Oh, hey, I can climb that tree, huh? The mother is obviously stressed because she's been balancing the accounts and she sees that they can't afford the house they're in. And she accidentally took it out on her door. Oh, decorations! Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween! Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Yes, yes I do. Here we go. Bat and Moon Against the Gloom the night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved pizza. I'd saved, though pizza cold, is breakfast gold. That's so true. It really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You gonna harvest? Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harvest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. Don't touch my pumpkin. I'm touching your pumpkin. I also want to jump onto your roof even though I know the guy isn't there. Oh, I might need to steal another pretzel to feed to the rats. Although I already got the achievement, so do I care anymore? I'll touch that pumpkin if I want to touch the pumpkin. The fisher's not there. Was all that graffiti behind him before? I guess you can feed them on more than one day, assuming you do it right. Perfect crime. Get in the hang of this. Dog is now stirred a little bit, but she's eating one of our toys. I can't pay for her, she has no money. She's a jobless oh. Okay, that's a little weird. A jobless yob. Where's everybody? What? Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. What? <laughs> I. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, did I just meet the pyro from TF2? Is this a cameo? If I go to the church, the mother will be there. Oh, it's the committee. That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen, that's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble and disassemble in one day. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record of the festival. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, well, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harvest tonight. Fine then, I'll send lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Uh, 
He's thinking of a gun? It's time to join the Thieves Guild. Nice. Stealing pretzels. Oh. What are you doing up here? Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, me heading out, and them not showing up. And were you meeting them at the statue of Saint Rubello? Yeah, the fire-breathing guy. Who, like, ate people. It's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from Saint Rebello? Eat people. Sure. The statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. Is the situation. The situation? With, with Bruce and stuff. Eh. We wait and see. And pray. Is Bruce over here? Is he on the cliffside again? No, he's here. Are you going to go down to harvest tonight? Don't know. Maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. Well, we'll see, I suppose. Good talk, my homeless chum. Oh! Oh no, it's goth kids. Hey. Hello. Hey! Traveller from distant lands, you have journeyed far, and it has brought you here. To us. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future. But first, but be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow broken? I mean, I saw the ship. You're all like 14-year-old goths. Why am I answering this? The shipwreck. On my way into town, in the playground, this old ship. How did you... You have answered well. We will peer into your future. And give you what help we can. In the coming dark. Alright, go for it. Tell us first, what is God in this place? Well, um, is it... Caring but absent? Uncaring but distant? Vicious and roaming? Can we go with nice and helpful? No. Don't say no. Okay, fine. Um, caring and absent? True enough. She works still in hopes it will return. She? She who? We see something in your future. We know. We know. We know! Okay, already. If the sky is empty, is it enough to be a good watcher? That's more of a question than a fortune. Let's try something easier. What am I going to have for dinner tonight? Don't know, don't care. I want tacos. We'll have them soon. We'll all have tacos soon. Okay, well, I'm going to get going. Stop. Do you see the mystical symbol etched upon this sacred rock? The pentagram? Yes, good. Okay. It is the first of three. Find it thrice, and it shall find you in the dark. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to head out. You guys are adorable. And weird, but the fun kind of weird. This is serious. Like, we're not kidding. We don't care or anything, but like, dude. Alright, alright, I'll keep an eye out for pentagrams and whatnot. Cool. Haha, <laughs> you broke your speeding order. Speaking order, rather. Um, no. We're just going backwards now. Are you freaking out yet? See ya, weird goth teens. You're not going to narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. Okay. Still missed a page, though. Hmm. See you later, Bruce Wayne. It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Thank you again, Sir Nightmare, for the very generous bits. We know, Flick, we know. What? We know what? 
Oh, the goths? Do you know goths? Are you a goth nerd? I wonder if there's anyone in there today. No, she is here. Dot dot dot. I'm busy. Oh, narc on the goths? Nah. Goth kids are well enough left alone. F God! Okay, that was a very productive visit to church today. It is Halloween after all. So we've got personal stuff to do, video shop to visit. It did that thing. Oh, hello. Hey, Aunt Molecop. Molecops don't carry guns, me. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? <clears throat> Blocking off the road. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it, then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. I didn't say anything was wrong with being a goth. I said leave them well enough alone. I was on your side, kind of. Oh, again, it's because I did the triple jump. I keep forgetting. At least that seems to be the cause. Possum Springs Harvest, brought to you by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. 87th annual thing. Oh, he's not there. No, the rats can still get fed. Oh, you're talking to chat. Our chat not being inclusive. It's going to get you shot. Yeah, but the doggo's barking hello. Barking hello. All right, my little miracle rats, time to eat. Wait a minute, there's more. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food, yes you do. I didn't agree to this. The rats are multiplying again. Oh, didn't realize there was a door down here. Why are the rat babies already multiplying? Because that just creates all kinds of difficult questions, like... Why they be fucking? Thinking about coffee? Thinking about cigarettes? Ah, oh, everything is so great and harvesty! It's basically just less spooky Halloween, whatever! I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the harvesty air. Well, now get home when I do. So it's saying to further the story, we need to go home, I guess. Oh, there he is. He's there. You hype for Harvest? Mm, Harvest is pretty dumb, right? I'm going to watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. going to get a pizza too. All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Or your current age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Yep. See ya. I, no reaction to what I said then, huh? Okay. Happy Halloween! Ah, hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely. Can you tell? Do your spooky face. He moved his ears. Hey, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice ever, though. <laughs> I 
You going to Harvest? Nah, I'm gonna watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come out? Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Never seen the game live? Nah, never. Go out to Harvest, you never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go Smellers! Go Smellers! Hey, they're making friends. It's good. Hey man, how's things? Good, Harvest Rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. No. I done got horrored. <clears throat> Getting horrored at work is the worst. When I had that job that one time. I worked the longest night rush. You know, you never mentioned having a job. Oh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now and I'm here now and it's a lovely day and I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So, what's up? Uh, I'm very interested in the light bulb smashing. Hell yeah! <clears throat> that kind of is a miss. Oh right, I can move left and right as well. That was way too high. Come on, man. How the hell was I supposed to get that? <laughs> Oh, jump, I guess. Ow! Nope. You're not very good at throwing things, Greg. Ow! What in the F? Finally. Boom! Throw a can at me, I dare you. Bam! Bam! Oh, I was a bit too slow. There's a three strikes in your outtake fair, I think. So what's up? Nothing. Smash, smash, smash. Greg rules, okay? Oh, hey, look, we drew Bruce Wayne. Don't miss stuff back the way. <clears throat> I guess we'll head home now for the harvest thing then. I hate you, surfing cat. I hate you. I couldn't get in the pickaxe. I walked past the door and there wasn't a prompt. Unless she's somewhere else. Yes, there is a real, like, normal cat as well. Like, the fact the characters are animals is really incidental. It, they, they don't even have tails. It's just to add to the cuteness of the game, I think. Make it seem less dour. Even though the tone is pretty dour. No one is here. I think I have to examine the mirror. <laughs> oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Sweet. Witch dagger. Oh, it's night now. No messages. <clears throat> Parents not in it, Halloween? No, I guess not. Okay. It's not normal. 
Hello? Hmm, it must already be out. Harvest. Harvest Halloween. I can't jump or climb the stairs. Fortune and splash him. Do you spin the wheel of destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that as an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, it's going to say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. That's as high as it can go. A mighty spin, a commendable spin. What am I even looking at? Your fortune is your future, a place you will soon be. Forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. Some days shall be like unto the fish you keep as a trophy. Some days shall be like unto the fish you eat. And some days shall be link unto the fish you throw back. Okay, so some days are going to be good, some are going to be average, and some are going to be suck. <laughs> I think I saw this fortune on a green card once. This isn't a fortune, it's just a regular life. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So is this unknowable truth? You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Oh, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favour. Alright then. Taking a while to load back in. Yeah. Hold up. Clean, how did I get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to the Harvest Spectacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do, I don't. Or you can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Ooh, you hit the spooky ghost. I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit. Gonna haunt you. I'm extremely cold and wet. Arg! Oh no, I'm dead again. Oh no, you've hit the evil witch. Arg, which way will I go next? Ouch, I'm gonna hex you. Arg! Arg again! Oh no, I'm melted and running away! <laughs> hey, that was on target. So was that. Oops, I'm the pumpkin. You hit me, the pumpkin. You got me, the pumpkin, wet. Ouch, that one hurt me, the pumpkin. I'm freezing now, the pumpkin is freezing. No, no, I'm going away, the pumpkin. catch up. That was right on the tip of her nose. So was that one. Oh, I see how you're moving. Yeah, you're moving away from me, I see. Rattle, rattle, I'm a skeleton. Clitic plank, you hit my bones. Well, that sure was something. On behalf of Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy your historic home. Possum Springs, more look at the lead of what? More like Awesome Springs. Okay, we're done. Yes, there was a spooky skeleton, but it was defeated. That's great. That's nice. <laughs> hey, hey. Da da da. What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's harvest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. 
When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think? You think? Ugh, oh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now? It's like the bad remake. that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal but gets... Anyway. You got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. Me, please do not wing it. Okay. We are, in fact, going to wing it. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts, are you here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <clears throat> Through the mists of time, I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John, yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with a uh, witch a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these 300 beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O excellent brother. <clears throat> It's got to be this one. Whole traveller, spare crust of bread for a needy woman. Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Crow young men. You did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. I shall curse ye and thee. And this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to just words with a hell hag. Yee! I was born among these trees. Neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen. Art thou so easily shaken by the ramplings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these 300 beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. <coughs> Oh god, there's the second art act. Help, help! Who will help a poor traveller? What's Greg doing here? Um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? <clears throat> You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zwoons! We can't buy this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body leath upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of 300 beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. Eh <laughs> Um. I did curse this spring. That any who drink from it shall perish. Ah, <laughs> oh, guy, I'm slain. I join thee now, Brother Stephen. <laughs> wow. I am also undone, for I have drank it of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Any zombies now? Gaze upon them, gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed and never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? <clears throat> we card you, it says on the till there. Um, crap. 
four. Uh, for each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each path may lead to places unknown. That's the Jenner from the start of the game. You? From the bus station. Young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Ah, uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way? So. Witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. <clears throat> oh god, how did you know? Oh, her... He's talking about her dreams, right? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end, a night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest god, thou hast no power here. Even now thy end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch, even now the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. But where as you go? For there are ghosts. Take care. I'm gonna go make sangria in the turlet. <clears throat> and so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, mere ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the country seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience! Then that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business! <laughs> Support your local businesses, chat. Or else you'll see a decline like this town has. <clears throat> Jeez, thanks guys. Never doing that again. So, what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more of a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Oh, sorry. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet by the Ham Panther. Gonna have to go business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. <laughs> night. This is garbage. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. What the? Oh my god. Anyone? Shit. Pant pant. Where the hell did he go? Shit. <laughs> May go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. Whatever's going on, the ant is in on it. <clears throat> I'm moving. 
this and kisses and all this, but. What? Question mark, question mark, question mark, achievement unlocked? Part 3, The Long Fall. Thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realised that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. How about work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello? Hi. Hey, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Are we not going to, like, talk about the abduction or... No? That's just a thing that happened, I guess. <coughs> hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, like, one moment and make it like the official version of us. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. You're just, like, the same every day? What is your bird existence like? Tedious. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? <clears throat> hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Grey and drizzly. How you go for that today? Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff, I didn't really mean it. But whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat it a few years ago. I'm really sorry. About all of it. Hey mate, you okay? I'm fine, guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or, I think I did. <laughs> want to talk about it? Later, I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. <clears throat> so what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're grown up now. Just spill it. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt soothing that over. Jeez, I'm so sorry about that. It's in the past, let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came to time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Oh, the crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. What are you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure. Right, there's a man lying dead in the kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. He should have been a detective. Yeah, I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. What else is in the room? Normal stuff, refrigerator, microwave, silverware. Knives? No knife wounds, though. Alright. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? 
The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet through the dude's head. Aha, that's why he's only got blood on one hand. Yeah, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a picture of Aunt Dottie. Bravo. Thank you, thank you. It made quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm going to get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Hmm. Yeah, what about the abduction, though? Unless it was all in her head. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird, I went to Harvest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a poem? Absolutely. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station, then blowing it up in November. Oh yeah, that makes sense. No, oh, hang on. Yes, Selma. You're gonna break your neck someday. I'll make sure to fall right on you. Haha, <laughs> well I'm a big enough target. I'm bigger than you, we should be covered. You too. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me that he's up there today. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. What, you mean like I currently am? Hmm? Hang on. I mean, I could have just come up here. You, you can make that, it's just I'm ballsing it up. Oh. Apparently it didn't mantle the roof correctly though. Yep. Higher up. Yep. Miss me, Borowski. Press it. Smell the autumn winds? Yes, hard to miss. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah. Come have a look. Ah, I'm blind! This is your own fault at this point, I should say. Found one! Oh no, it's a snake and it's dead. Big snake! Big snake? Yep. I saw a big snake once, at the zoo. In scouts we were hiking and one was sunning itself on a rock. What a treat! I was thinking it's weird to see a snack just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snack emerged from the earth and made war upon the villagers. Villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snack. And they came together. And together slew the big snack. You learn. Why did big snack attack the people? Do you have any sympathy for the big snack? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snack? Big snack. Big snack. Big snack. Pretty sure Valinar wrote that one. Oh. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. It's Drunk Santa. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm into it. Grimacery... Gramercy the Medium. In life, he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? It's just called being alive. Not so, his body was dead. So he was like a zombie. But just as smart as before. 
not looking for brains. So, like normal, but he smelled bad? Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, like usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral. Behehe. <laughs> this is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chess whatever. <coughs> willikers. Well, that was pretty great. More in a couple of days? Sure. Big snack and gramercy. Racing skeletons for war? Oh, right, he's a necromancer. So basically we'll go through this day and then that's where we'll stop for the night. Tomorrow it'll be... It might be more of this, but we'll do two things. So I've just got to commit theft. Sneaky peeky like. This is unfairly easy now. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, me. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was, they didn't pay people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it first hand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. The night I met your grandfather. A real bastard that boss, God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or stupid in some brave way. He shouts the guts of all the bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere, and he slashes the boss's tires. Wow. Picks up a rock, puts it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. That is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few others saw it. I turn over to him, and we run off down the alley, past a AOK drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A very long time ago. Was he? So what happened with the car? He got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, we got the troublemaker blood. Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? No. Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass the story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In a lifetime of nights and things he did, what you want to do with that is part of your story now. <clears throat> I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now. Yeah, I'm doing it to feed my ever-growing litter of rats. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I saw something. Okay, um, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? When you all hang out together constantly, you're safer than anyone else I know. This game is messing me up. How so? Hmm. 
<laughs> Fisher hasn't been back for a while. I think it's every third day he comes though. So the pastor isn't here today, but is Bruce Wayne? <clears throat> no, she is here. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamt I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. It just makes me sad we don't have pizza place anymore. Or a pizza place. Go to order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south. And I had to keep up with the other gooses or I'd get lost. That's sad. It weren't a good dream. What are you all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City Council. Yep. About... about Bruce here. Oh, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. I doubt those goth kids will be there now. Yeah. I'm still waiting to hear from Potliemi if he's saying this game is messing him up in a good way or a bad way. Are you emotionally invested? Please don't start singing songs in my chat again. Hey, church mom. Hello, heathen daughter. No, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. He attends, and that's the important part. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt trip thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There's more grace than commendation. Or condemnation, rather. Kinda, whatever, alright, I'm out. See you later. Oh, I'm happy it's helping you, Paul Amy. It's important to take uh, the, the serious parts of this game and F God and use them to relate your own life and hopefully work through whatever's causing issues. Uh, rather than jump up here, oh wait, no, I have to defeat the bloody rats. Bye, 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 bye yourself. Pork, 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 pork. Oh, he's up there again. I was just going to say, I wonder if he's down at the park again, but nope, he's right there. Feeding time. Indeed. How did I manage to miss all of them there? There's four of them now! There's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street? As we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. Miracle Rats achievement unlocked. I think that might be the last time we need to visit then. The picture for it is pretty good.
This is too real. Don't worry about it. Wait, didn't I find a shortcut last time? No. Just can't make that. Did you go to harvest? Harvest? Whatever. Yeah, ended up in a play because my friend screwed it up. Cool, I eat pizza and watch Blood Gorgon. Cool. Something wrong? Nah, just think I saw a ghost or something last night. I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You're good people, whatever you were called. <clears throat> hey B. I Hi, um, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine, it was fun. My night got really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day? Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I know, he's at the Snack fan Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Is that a little bit of fourth wall breaking there? Hey, Angus is here. Yeah, for band practice in a bit? I, I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. She's obviously going to tell them after the band practice. Whoa. Someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Surfing cat, I hate you! It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. What's up, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Band practice. Yeah, let's do this. <coughs> oh, Jerome is here again. About to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're only fan, Jerome. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Oh, I was up all night. We were fixing the roof door. It was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down to the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Alright, let's do this shit. Pumpkinhead guy. I already don't like it. Okay, I put the ribbon there. Oh no, but now it's reversed! Remember when that kid got abducted? Oh, it's slowing down. 
Ugh. Uh, pardon me? I can't do this space solo! not expecting that. Oh man, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. I mean, it's true. Whew. So fast. You just pushed a button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna sound so husky. You and me both. Anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and I also think was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think we need to do something, because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No! I'm kind of freaked out! It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aww. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? Oh, why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about... No, they have the local paper on file, going back a century. A microfiche. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find out there, probably. Oh, wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When was the last time you were in a library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? <laughs> Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh... Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. Spirit. The library. It's a very strange looking library. Look, jobs. Weird. Like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkinhead guy. 